we arrived at the Oka Campground, the National Park. First morning at the Oka Campground. We've never been here before, but we went to other national parks um, in Quebec. The thing I hate about camping is that um, everyone looks horrible the next morning. So, you know. So this is our campsite. We're 151. And, I don't know, we thought it was going to be more private than this. And we asked for a more private spot. But, it's okay. So I show you how close the other people are to us. Like, I mean, there's our trailer, and there's their tent. Um, when you have a camper, it's probably best not to leave the doors and windows closed all day because it gets really hot in here. And then when you want to come and relax, it's too hot. So, a little advice. It's a bug on my arm. That's right, dear, you scrub it. So they have uh, public washrooms here at this campground, which is really great. I'll take you on a little tour here. They also have a place where you can wash your dishes with hot and cold running okay, water. Well, right now someone's in the bathroom and they're singing, so I'm going to go video what the bathroom looks like and uh, let you know. There we go. Filming in the bathroom. Oh, yeah. <laughs> it's a bit embarrassing. Wrong. This is what you're filming. I was just filming myself washing my hands, but I didn't want to turn it off, so I just left it go. And then an hour and a half from about from where we live. This is uh, the refuge. You can see. Sorry, my fingers in the way. Sorry, you can see that all these people are very close together. And it looks like it's mostly for RVs. So if you don't like to camp like this right beside somebody and wake up and watch them eat their breakfast, then I suggest not to choose this campground. This is La Crête, and it's uh, no services, just a bathroom nearby. It's not close to the beach, so you'll have to take a shuttle or drive your car and park in the parking lot. But it's a little bit more densely forested. And as you can see, you can have a trailer or you can have a tent. People are a little bit more further apart. a little bit before the next campsite comes up. There's the next one. That's number 30. This one's a bit small, wouldn't be good for us, but a little tented area. This section is called Lance, L apostrophe A N S E. And it's supposed to be more densely forested, but it doesn't really, doesn't really look like that. It looks like a lot of tents. I don't really see much. I love young people. I don't see very much tent trailers. I, don't see, I haven't seen one yet, actually. Okay, and so this section is called La Meande. And it's not bad. I guess there's like enough space for a tent. It's still, you know, you can still see your neighbors. It says densely wooded, but that's not really true. You can fit trailers into some of the spots.
you can't get to the beach from here. You do have to take the shuttle, so you have to park your car in the shuttle parking, and the shuttle passes every 30 minutes um, until 6 in the evening. What time in the morning? And I think from 9 in the morning until 6 in the evening. Price right here. $3 for a dry. And wow, that's pretty expensive. And $4 for a wash. But I mean, they have a lot of machines if you need to do your laundry. They have a sink where you can pre-soak. It's not bad. It's not bad at all. You get a view of the parking lot. And that's the laundry mat that I showed you. And if you walk across a little path and come up along here, you come to the community center where you have some telephones. And maybe you have some... Oh, it's so that they could, they're doing talks, I guess, here. Different nights, they have different talks. You've got washrooms. So they have swing sets and different things for children to play on here. I won't film too long because I'm sure people don't like me filming their children. And there's a lot of bicycling that goes on here. So bring your bike if you like to do that. There's also walking trails and a general store. General store. And you just go through this little guardrail. They have clothing, different items for children right here. Toys and things. They got a big bunch of candies. You have anything you need for camping that you forgot? Different things, ponchos, extension cords, stuff like that. We got different foods, personal items. Got my cute husband here. We got food. We got slush. They have a microwave you can use there. You can buy your wood here. It's six dollars and nine cents for the wood. And uh, what are we here to get? Wood. We're getting wood. Okay. Excelente. Thank you. Okay, so, so I have someone I want to introduce you to. Here he is. Look at that. If you touch him, his little antennas go in, and then watch he pokes them back out. Oh. So cute. Ooh. A little slug. Now I'm going to put him back. I'm going to put him back in nature. I'm going to put him back where I found him, actually. Which happens to be, I know I look silly with a hood on. I know. I found him right here. So now I'm going to put him back. He can just continue on his way. There you go, little fella.